All right, good evening, everybody. Welcome back to Dwarf Fortress with Timo. Uh, we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, it is going to be a play series. Uh, so this world is the world that Cage Boot was in. Uh, Cage Boot, unfortunately, has fallen. So I was prepping Cage Boot to do an advanced defense tutorial, and I screwed up some water mechanics and flooded my fort. Sometimes that happens, even to the best of us. So... I just abandoned that one, and I started another one in this world. We got Speech Fortress up here. Um, and I actually, what I did with this one first is if you saw my, my fishing tutorial, I, I created a, a fishing tutorial, I think it was last night. Um, and so I've got my, my fishing dwarf set up, but I'm actually going to use this fortress to do my advanced defense uh, systems. So I'll give you a little tour of the fortress to start off with on what we got going here. So we entered the world right around here. Um, I set up a little gathering zone for plants right up in here, just a little one to get a little bit of outside food. Um, I set up just a stockpile to help out with building this. I've got a stockpile just for stone and blocks and grates and that kind of stuff, which I can actually get rid of that. I don't need this anymore. It was just making uh, a little bit quicker for me to build this because I had everything there. And I actually built, uh, just put it inside because the dwarves don't like rain. So I um, had a little work sh uh, stone workshop right in here that was building all my stuff and just making that whole logistics loop uh, a lot quicker. Suppose we do have a fishing zone set up. We got a tunnel back to a fishery. Uh, I've set up my, uh, it's very similar you've seen to some of the other ones I've used. I've got, a, I've got a kitchen, a still, a butcher and a tanner up here, a food stockpile. This is where my uh, dining hall is going to be. I'm using my... Uh, the ramp system that I'm sure some of you have seen before. I've got lumber and gems set up already. I'm going to have to put the stones and blocks in here. Uh, now that I took the other one out, I can actually designate that right now while I'm here. Is set up a stone and block. And then as well as my mason shop. We'll get that started. Uh, a couple more levels up. Um, yeah, I've got uh, my manager's spot right here. I've got my trade depot, my initial intake miscellaneous storage that I slowly take stuff out of as I do other stuff. Uh, behind the trade depot back here, I've got some farms set up so I can have some, some food from farm right now. So I got fish, farms, and I do have out uh, outside, I do have um, some water buffaloes that uh, pulled my cart here. They actually had a little baby calf. Um, and I've got my ducks and some uh, some some nest boxes for the ducks set up. I'd like to get that protected at some point, get some walls around that. Um, I do have honeybees on here, so I'm going to get some some honey going as well inside. And a couple layers down, I've got, um, well, I started doing beds here, but I ran into some clay. And that's not good for the value of a house. So I just turned this into a dormitory, intake dormitory for just this little section. Uh, so that what I have... Um, uh, inflow of colonists, they can um, just come and, and go here until I get them a room. I've got just one dead dwarf. There was a battle. Uh, the dwarf got injured, uh, couldn't move, eventually went berserk, and got herself killed. Um, and then I've, I've got the actual rooms that I'm starting down here. I think that's the end of my fortress. So it's, pr it's pretty early on. We're going to go ahead and unpause it. Where are we fighting? Oh, Drake is my... Why is a duck? Oh, a giant key. Oh, yeah, we've got some giant keys here um, that have been annoying me. So, that's been fun. Did I lose the drake? Let's, let's find out. Pet livestock. Uh, looks like we're good right now. Uh, I also almost immediately lost a dog to a werewolf man. Or oh, wolverine man? Wolverine man. Um, and then the other dog died shortly after, so I think it, they both got... Went, wounded so I currently don't er actually have any dogs so I'm gonna have to rely on trade um people markets yeah so these giant keys are just stealing stuff buzzards so they're stealing from this this pile of stuff right here which eventually when I get this dug out it'll be brought inside which is already dug out so I can start burning this inside all right except that oh I actually need to go um Add grates back to my other stockpile so they move them inside. Oh. That's a good thing. For now, it's just simply all the bars and blocks. I'm going to 
obviously get this more filtered out later as I go, but for now it's just going to be everything. If you've seen my advanced tutorial for logistics, there's a lot of fun stuff I like to do. And I'm setting some of that up here. As well. um, so big picture, what I'm going to be doing with this fortress is seeing how much I can get done for defenses without ever um, using like a, a big military. So normally before you've seen me uh, train a lot of dwarves, get dwarves ready to go. I'm gonna see how much I can get done with basically a squad of Mark's dwarves. Um, and that's about it. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna see how I do. I've got some angry people just because of how much fighting I started. Like as soon as I got here, there was a giant uh, Wolverine that started messing with me. So it, it became um, a, uh, a very unhappy place to live almost immediately because of that fight in and I'm struggling to get the people back up I'm trying to get some some stuff that they like for instance the uh, I need some tables and chairs in here I don't know if I've actually created any uh, get their rooms up and running that kind of stuff but hopefully I could get them like in where they like where they live yeah I got no tables and chairs yet so I need this this mason to get started all right back in here. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing with this um, is I still want to do an advanced tutorial on um, how to build good defenses and interesting and fun stuff you could do. I'm pretty much going to create a long path that enemies need to get through in order to get to my fortress. And throughout that long path, uh, lots of different ways to slow them down and kill them uh, before they get into my fortress. So obviously, I'll have to pull a lever to kind of open up that route. Um, but pretty much when an invasion happens, um, it'll just mean that I go and um, start up the start the lever and get them. Oh, I, I had that. Th um. Once I pull that lever, it'll, it'll open up the much longer path with all my defensive and, and kill everybody off. Hopefully. That's the plan anyways. We'll see how it goes. Giant Wolverine. Probably kill something. So I do have a, a squad started up. Uh, they're not really training too much. Just because uh, I, I haven't really started that. I didn't intend to. But I do have like three dwarves that are going to go grab an axe or something and go get that guy. I don't know what I want to do. I guess eventually I can use the Mark's dwarves for that, which will be fine. Um, I'll just have to figure that out. Or I probably am going to have to use Mark's dwarves. Sometimes they're not great for, for these kinds of dealing with wildlife because they, they might not get in a position that they can actually shoot at them very well. Um, and you might also get in a position where they can they can rush you, and then their their skills haven't been trained really well yet. So I don't know. We'll we'll see how it goes. I've never really used Mark's dwarves for that purpose. Uh, maybe I could find a tricky way to to get around that. Maybe creating like a a tower out there where they can shoot from. Maybe a series of towers where they can like pop up in multiple places. Like, uh, something out of uh, Chronicles of Riddick or something like that. Well, I've seen that movie. You know what I'm talking about. All right. Got my couple of fisher dwarves. How are my tasks on jobs? I've got three miners, but they're not dedicated. One woodcutter, one planter. Probably need another planter. Uh, or two. Let's assign a couple more planters. Crafts dwarf and planters as well. Oh, and then I also want to restrict everybody else from doing it. So that they could get. Uh, having fast planters is, is really efficient. Um, Alright, they finished off that. Um, once you can get there, sometimes it takes a little while for them to get good at it. You might kind of waste a few seasons, uh, but eventually it's the, the benefits largely outweigh. It's good to get those up and running. 
I'm only currently making beds and doors. I'll eventually come back through with the uh, the cabinets and the chests that I like to do. I think I have enough beds made. It's just doors. I could probably put a few more coffins in as well. All right. So I got some of that non-fun stuff done. So let's go ahead and start planning. So I want some amount of warning. So I think I'm going to put the manager's office somewhere else. Let's put it down here, actually. Uh, manager's office right down here by the food and stuff. So we'll really remake it down there. And this could just be nothing. I'll just ignore that. So give me a little bit of time. So if I get a heads up that they're coming, I'll just put... Not even more time than that. That might be fine. And we'll do... Oh, let's see what's right underneath this. That's good. We're going to take and make a construct, a bridge. Oh, no, we're going to do we're gonna dig out a ramp first. Good. So as you saw with Cage Boot, what I'm doing right here is, so I've, I've put a ramp down to this level. I'm going to put a drawbridge over it. Um, and then, therefore, when I raise this drawbridge and make a wall out of the drawbridge, it's going to raise up this way. Material. Um, it means that it kind of um, shuts off my main fortress at the same time that it opens this other route. So with one lever pull, um, I'm going to be able to change the course that an enemy would be would be coming into my uh, into my fortress, which is helpful. Um, because sometimes your your main the main way you want it is is kind of simplest for your dwarfs to go out and do stuff. You don't want it to be difficult for your dwarfs to go out. You also don't want it difficult for traders to come in uh, and get to your fortress. Uh, so those are kind of areas that you want to handle with pathing for your dwarves. But then when enemies show up, you don't necessarily want them going directly to your trade depot or directly to your farms or, or wherever else. Um, so if you do this method of building a bridge um, over a uh, dugout ramp, you now have, can have two different, oh, that's funny, that's stuck down there. Uh, let's, you'll be fine for a little, let's go ahead and build the, build the lever and connect it, that's funny. Uh, machines, lever, we're going to put this lever down here right by my, no, nope, need mechanism, okay. I need a mechanic shot for that. Uh, maybe I'll get the way out. All right, here. Just. And we can go back there and put walls and change that. That's not actually how I'm going to work. But then he can get himself out. <laughs> That's fine. Make bed has been completed. So I got more beds if I need them. And there's my mason. Yeah, my mason is up to all kinds of stuff. Any grates anymore. Oh, and I might as well get it started for my other rest of my stuff. So there was um, some talk um, on my channel about waiting to make uh, chests and. Um, uh, cabinets until after a couple years in because your dwarves don't actually need it until they need to start putting some stuff away in it. Uh, the reason that I do it a little bit earlier is because it helps add to the value of the room and some good thoughts out of your dwarves. So it's just, it's kind of an easy way to give your dwarves a little bit better thoughts. So that's why I do it earlier. Uh, you, but as was discussed, you don't actually need to do that. All right. I, that guy got out. Uh, let's get the mechanic shop going. Mechanic. Let's 
get us building rock mechanisms going. Uh, sometimes I need a lot of those. Wish I'm gonna be some some traps. So let's get that at ten. So it, it does it in batches. The way that I, I built that uh, is that I, I do it in batches of ten, but I keep doing batches of ten until I have at least twenty of them to, ready to go. All right, we'll start that guy has dug out. So the first thing I'm going to create is I think I'm going to start off with just some simple. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to do a trap, which this might actually be. Einstein. Have this kind of flow back and forth. First thing I want them to get past. Start with this, and I'm gonna put a wall right there. Start a little loop right here. And I'm gonna kind of expand this as I go, as I think of stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is show you how to make um, just some spikes that come out of the ground a bunch. So this whole area is gonna have spikes that come in and out as people walk through it. So it's gonna be pretty fun. What you could basically do is you would is I'm going to attach spikes to, um, I'm going to have them rather that is that I'm going to have them attached to a, uh, what's it called, a plate, a pressure plate. There we go, pressure plate. I have them attached to a pressure plate, and so when somebody steps on the pressure plate, it'll send the spikes up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pressure plate where dwarves walk a lot. So I'll put like the pressure plates like at these corners here or something, or maybe looks like they're coming in and out through here quite a lot to do food maybe I'll put them right along here as they're coming down to go eat uh, so like maybe a pressure plate right here would be a good spot and so my dwarves just by walking around the fortress are gonna be stepping on this pressure plate a lot and when they do that it means that um, the the spikes are gonna come in and out all the time Construct all select Select that silt so that's right underneath it. Alright, but to do that, we're gonna to need to build some obviously some of these, which I'm starting on. And yeah, we're just gonna put it right there. And It's also been a while since I built this trap, so we're going to see how we go. But I believe what I need to do is come into machines, traps, uh, this upright weapon and spike. Start it. Or just. Yeah, we'll start it here. Needs item. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to build some spikes, which I believe are metallic is what I want. So I got to get a metal industry going, which means I need some metals, which means I need to dig some down some. I don't think I've seen any metals yet. Uh, let me look at my stocks. Um, stone. Stone. Silt, mud. Oh, no, I got some hematite going. We could we could we could go straight to iron. That's good. I'll use iron spikes. All right, where do I want to put my metal industry? Uh, next to the dormitory. Sure, it's the dorm. This way. I'll create an input for ores that I actually want. Output. For Or outputs for those uh, and we need let's go with a couple of smelters go with one of those and go back up to this level at this level I'll put the uh, the um All right. But I also need to build 
here. Wanted finished goods. Where are you finished? Finished goods. Another thing you could do when you're doing uh, your personal games is pausing it to to issue uh, commands and stuff and help save you some time. Or an owl here. Um, if you if you pause the game often while you're issuing commands, it kind of if that command was was necessary uh, for you to want them to get them done early, you're going to want to pause it. If you don't really care and they've got plenty of other stuff to do, uh, then it's fine to just leave the game running. So it's kind of up to you about how important those jobs are that you're, that you're doing. Oh, that's right. They, uh... They stole... No barrel on my face. Steal it, birds. I believe they stole the one that was outside, so it doesn't really matter. So this one is... Yeah, that's that outdoor one. That's my bars and box and all the other stuff. So this can actually be a... This is some track stop. Alright. That's finished goods. We can take finished goods out of here now. Finished good. And the other stockpile right here is going to be my furniture stockpile. Uh, the other discussion, the another discussion that came up on the channel was um, inputs. For ore and lumber, you can actually just use a dump zone. Um, so, what you can do if you want, and I'll show you how to. Let me finish setting up this and I'll show you how you can use a dump zone to collect material. Alright, so instead of collecting via a quantum stockpile like this, what you could do is if you wanted, say, all your ore to, to show up right down here, is I could come in here and go and pick myself out a zone and find the dump, garbage dump right here. Garbage dump. And I've only got one garbage dump. Your, your dwarves are always used the closest to garbage dump. So this is the only garbage dump I have right now. So I've got a garbage dump. And now, if I want to uh, collect stuff, I just gotta say, okay, I'm gonna designate item for dumping, and I'm gonna designate now all the all this stone here that it's all over the place. I I want my dwarves to, to clean up this stone. Uh, so I've got. I'll just do that much right now. Unpause it, and now your dwarves have that designated for dumping, and they're gonna take time taking all the stone to that one little place that I selected. So you can see that the dwarves are coming and grabbing stones and taking it and dropping right here. And it's got a little, when they do that, they put it, it's got the little lock there. So they'll, they'll now leave it there. Um, Burke has been found dead. That's no good. Giant wolver, oh, giant wolver is fighting me. Okay. Not paying attention. Agitated giant. All right. So, anyways, about the the dump zone. So, they've when they drop it off, they're gonna show it as locked. So that way, they won't move it again after you've dumped something. Because essentially, you're when you're the base game. The reason it's calling it a dump is that you don't you don't want it, and that's why you have uh, if you put dump zones around a hole that drops down another Z level. 
uh, they'll actually automatically know to throw it in the hole. And that way you can create a dump zone around, say, like a magma pit, and they'll all throw, they'll throw it in the magma, and they'll get rid of it that way. Um, oh, was my clerk was probably my expedition. Hold on a sec. I have no manager now? I got no manager. All right, Udil. Except for jobs, Udil. Uh, expedition leader. He's also a planter. Take that off of you. Uh, do we want somebody else a planter? Or Dablin Panther is a weaponsmith? Sure. Expedition leader. Oh, and I don't know that I actually assigned. I don't think I built the new. Where did I put that other room? I think it was down here. Yeah. Looks like we've got lots of tables and chairs now. We got a couple tables. Uh, you just. Work on getting this up and running. So we got four or five silt stone here. So this is one way you can move it, but the problem here is that, so I've got a, a stone, and they will move all this stone here and clear it, um, but you're not guaranteed how long it's going to take, and it's all locked and not usable while you're doing this. Oh, I forgot to uh, actually designate to these coffins. Hold on a sec. Um, so, because... Ooh. So because they're... They're not immediately ready, you're basically... You've designated for dumping, and then while they're doing the task, it's also not ready to be used yet. So in order to actually use it, you have to go back and claim it again. Um, and then also, I can only do one thing at a time. So right now I'm doing stone. If I were to do a wood one at the same time, well now my dwarves are going to have two dump zones. And some of the wood might end up in one, or some of the ore might end up in the wood. So you're not sure which one it's going to end up in. It's, it's going to be the closest one, but unless you plan it really well, they're most likely the ore might be closer to the wood one than the ore is. or It just depends on where you're digging and, and which stockpile is closer. Um, so you can't really collect more than one thing at a time with the dump thing unless you plan really well where where they are. Um, and then on top of it, it you have to go back and claim them again, and they're also not sorted or anything else like that. So I personally don't use it for this purpose. Um, using dump zones to collect something can be helpful, but I don't necessarily think it's helpful for that. Like, for instance, before you create a permanent dump zone where you're just trashing everything, which I would recommend that you do, it might be nice to have a dump zone, say, right next to your smelter, where when goblins come in, you dump all of their metal gear next to your smelter. That way your smelter can then, and then you un unclaim it from there, so then your smelter can just melt those things down. And then you, after the attack is done, because that's kind of like a, an attack happens very rarely, so you could create the dump zone, collect the stuff from that, and then deal with it. Um, or are there times where like something comes up that you want to collect it, but it's a very situational, you're only collecting it then, you're going to have like a start and stop to the collection, and then you're going to be done with it. Then the dump zone makes a lot more sense, in my opinion. Um, and then once you set up a permanent dump, well now you might not want to, and and you're going to want to set up a permanent dump eventually because you're going to want to get rid of trash from your from your fortress. All right. So we're going to do stones, but we actually only want the metal ores and the... Uh, am I going to remember what the... There are, there's those ones. We only want the, the flux and the... Do I want the bitmus coals and lignites in here too? Yeah, we'll take the lignite and the business coals as well. Uh, 
then nothing else and nothing there. So we got the metals, we got the flux, and then we got the the metals, the the coal and the lignite are our fuels. So that's what we're gonna bring here. Then we'll create um, that. We do want some wheelbarrows that can be used for that. Then we'll create. For now, it's just gonna be everything. But I'm gonna come back probably. I'll make this a little bit better. All right, so stone, all, oh, but then none of those, none of those. All right. And I'm, for the most part, I'm trying to use blocks instead of the actual stones. Uh, that's just for efficiency's sake. When you take take a stone and make blocks out of it, um, you get four blocks for the stone, but then it still just takes one block to do anything. So every stone basically becomes four times more valuable when you do it that way. Um, so that's why you see me doing those functions. And then this one's going to be bars. Bars and blocks. I think I want just all the bars and blocks. Yeah. But we're going to get rid of this. Alright, so the first thing I want here is bars and blocks, but get rid of iron, pig iron. And steel. No, we also don't want the stone coming on the side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want. Uh, do we want any of this? Don't want the ash, soap. But none of the stone. And we don't want blocks. Bars. So we just want the metal bars. The coal. Oh, we want flux. No, 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 we want flux too. Uh, so we want chalk. No, because we don't want the blocks. They're not going to be turned into blocks. We just want the ore for that. Yeah, that's how we want to do it. Another one. And this one, bars and blocks. But actually, we're just going to do the only one. Here. The only thing we want is bars and blocks. Pig iron. And, and then we want here. here. But the only thing we or some blocks, steel. And so this is just giving me some quick old, quick mouse over views of what I have. That's why I do it this way. And I'm taking the bins back out. And I hope I have enough to do all that. I don't know if I have enough wheelbarrows. I mean, uh, my cart's made. We'll find out. So the reason I'm kind of doing this one at a time like this is that I've gotten some reports from people that sometimes it bugs out if you don't do it one at a time. And I don't really want to troubleshoot it right now. Uh, so I'm just going ahead and doing it the slow way to make sure I don't run into issues. All right. So add a new row. Uh, first one, this one. All right, so this was bars and blocks. Most of the stuff except iron, pig iron, and steel. And then we also want the coal. That's it. And it's going to be 
taken for something. My iron. I got enough. I got three. I'm gonna make another batch. All right. So we just want bars of blocks. Iron. Take it from the stockpile. Pig iron. Bars of blood. Pig iron. There. Get rid of that. And one more. And last mine cart, so I have to get some more. And it's going to be my steel. I don't remember offhand if I have. A flux stone available in this map or not I was looking for a map that had other specific qualities to make it fun for building what I want to build so I don't know if it's gonna work but we'll see all right so I want to get rid of metal ores from the metal ore. I want Calcite chalk, don't want right. so anymore. Let's put the other one. Now I don't have to actually change on this the wheelbarrow because since I changed the input, the wheelbarrow is just collecting all the stone. So I don't have to actually change the wheelbarrow because I've changed this and that means I technically don't have to change this one unless I have some of that here and I do you see I've got some lignite there so I'm gonna go ahead and change this one because if I don't then they'll sit there and think that it's perfectly fine that the lignite is staying there and I want them to not think that that's okay all right so now the dwarves will eventually move the other stuff over. oh and you can see here I've got now all the stone, did I get all of it? Yeah, all the stone has been moved. So now at this point, I can come back through and I can do the, the unclaimed thin. And now I've got a whole bunch of stone in one square, uh, but it's, it's all claimed and ready for to be used. So that's another way you can get the same type of thin as this over here. So I've got, this is doing it. But this just automatically builds me that and it stays there. This I had to do that one time. Now the, the dump zone is still there. You notice the dumps, it's still there, but I'm actually going to get rid of that. I don't want to dump some right there. So those stones now are actually eventually going to get moved. But that's another way you could do it is with, with dump zones. And it's not a terrible way. I, I just don't personally like doing it that way. All right, so the next thing I need to build is uh, my charcoal making from wood. Great duck found dead. This is wildlife. I put up the difficulty a little bit on this too, so I think I'm on hard instead of on normal. Which is fine. It happens. Alright, come on world. Early spring, gonna have some more stuff to play. Gonna start getting my people happy too. Get plenty of drinks and food, which is good. Get those rooms finished. That'll start making them happier. I need to get more tables and chairs into the dining room. Up the value on that. That'll make them happier. I need to get some temples started. That'll make them happier. All right, workshop for Sue. All right, and then for wood burning, this is what I like to do. So, charcoal. Make some charcoal. Make 10 charcoal, that's fine. Um, but it's only if the refined charcoal gets less than 10. So if I don't have very much of it, I'm going to make some. And then I'm also going to make sure that I have you know, lots of logs. If I don't have lots of wood, I don't want to burn away all my wood. And if I have some coal, I don't want to be using wood for it. Either way, it's only if I'm low on fuel and I have the logs to burn, then I'm going to go ahead and make some. And then I also want to set up, because I, I know I have at least the lignite. I don't know if I have coal. 
Late night. Make coke from the. So with this one, I'd like to bring the number down a little bit more and make it more often. And all I'm doing is seeing if I if I have at least that many. Go ahead and make some. So I'm going to make all of my lignite. Oh, man. It's cool in case it shows up. It umas. Forget that you for some reason. Which means I'm probably saying it incorrect. It's okay. It's my my video. I get to say it however I want. All right. So we've got charcoal being made. We've got this minecart. This mine Ducks killed. Let's start the walls. I'm gonna pause it for this. All right. Up there. This one. That one. And Those the other down here. Right there, that little square. It's easy enough. If I want to get all right, make some more blocks. Probably need to cut down some more trees too. Although that'll make agitated again, but that's okay. I need more. Gonna make the elves angry. Gonna make the wildlife angry. It's been theorized the reason that the wildlife gets angry is because it's they're the minions of the elves. So they're, they're doing the elves work. Alright, we also need to get ourselves a workshop smelter. So, hey, Will Smith. Oh, we have second iron and we got a second. I don't know if I have Smith then. Oh, and we need to get hematite started. Smelt. With this one again, I like to do smaller batches. We'll do batches of five. And it's just if we have the hematite. We're going to burn it. Uh, we'll do the tetrahedrite too, because I'm going to eventually want that silver and copper for some other stuff. When the material doesn't matter for what you're making, I like to make it out of copper. So I might be doing a lot of copper stuff. So we'll get this out of five. When it actually matters for the quality of what you're hitting them with, then I like to do at least iron, if not steel. Sometimes if I can't find the iron right off the bat, then I will make a batch with copper. Like if I'm gearing up a, a squad of dwarves and I don't have iron yet, I will use copper. And if I get access to tin, then sometimes I'll make bronze. But usually I'll just go copper, iron, steel is kind of the, the production path that I do. I'll often often skip right over bronze. Bronze is about the same as 
is iron, so, but it, it takes extra steps like steel does, um, but I don't, so I don't really see the purpose of that. Iron does not take extra steps. Bunch more rooms going. I wonder if I've done any cabinets yet. No, nope, no cabinets yet. I, I did make those things though, right? Cabinets are there. Chests. Oh, I've done some chests. I'll go ahead and put some chests in. Let's make some more bed. The dwarves happy. All right, that's actually enough to house all of them, so they should be able to come out of the dorms now, which is helpful. All right, so we got the blacksmith. Should be making. Got any jobs yet? Oh, it's probably because I don't have enough stick of wood. Where's my wood? But none. Yeah, that's why. Go chop down some wood. Trees. Alright, my wood chopper. I have a wood chopper that's alive? You. Felt, you're, you're in the middle of a fell tree, but you're angry about it. Now we got the wall started. Excellent. Uh, <sighs> it takes so much longer to bring a ore out here that I would rather just use for this kind of stuff. I'll just wait for them to make some more blocks. Oh, we actually have two little kids. We're going to be able to have a meat industry. Great. Uh, actually, let's see what let's see what we got for animals. Got, uh, we're, we're actually going to wait until I got the walls up. I don't want them to get killed off. So what I'm going to do here is build the walls up and then make it so the only way that you can access this is, and actually because of how this is set up, you can just this get in there. It's and simple, don't have to do stairs or anything, they can just walk through. This lever in. Lever right there. Go ahead and hook it up once they build it. No immigrants. Because I haven't traded very much value out yet. As I do some more trading, I'll get some more. Alright. the bridge. And we need to get, let's see, it's called Iron Spike, maybe? Yes. Menacing Iron Spike. Or is it Spears that we put it? I think it's the Spikes. You know what, we're just going to do, we're going to do Tetan and see how that goes. Okay, so we got some wood coming in here, which means we should be making some charcoal. Excellent. That'll trigger my Lignite. Let's go in. Well, everything's gonna start. Some more tables. So let's more tables down. Some more chairs. Oh, and let's go ahead and start some some smoothing going. Add some value to this room. Not yet. All right, am I going to want to be pumping up? Probably going to want some magma fun. 
some of my traps. So I might go ahead and dig down to magma. This game means I actually Let's see. Let's come off of this shoot right. Let's dig some stairs. Plus, that'll allow me to kind of scout out what the levels have. Maybe I can find my, my flux level if I have one. We got some more doors. Doors, three more. Um way that I saw that there were three more doors really quickly. So I go into stocks and I just looked over here at doors and you see the three and 17. The three means that I have three ready to go to be built and 17 installed. So that's what those numbers mean. Uh, so like the corpses, that means I got like 11 corpses that are laying around somewhere and I got two corpses that are, are actually in my uh, coffins. Uh, so I've got eight coffins constructed, 12 ready to be put up, that kind of stuff. So that's what those numbers mean. Um, with something like a blocks, that's like, I believe that's blocks that I've actually built stuff out of. Uh, and then 12 blocks ready to go. I got another 12 blocks ready to go. I don't know how it figures blocks that you've designated. I can actually take a look, I guess. Let's see. So it was about 12 blocks ready to go. Let's see if I... All that's... I actually have block. Uh, seven, eight, eight block. Yeah, so I'm not sure how it triggers that. I, it looks like it probably doesn't count the ones that you have designated towards something that's already being. So that might that number might be a little bit off if you've got a lot of designations going. It looks like. I believe that out of that filter that I have right there, it does take it out. Um, so there should be, I, I used three of my, my six mudstone blocks right there. If I were to build again, unless somebody just finished some mudstone blocks, I should have another three mudstone blocks ready to go. Now, the other thing that those filters don't account for is uh, blocks and stuff that are in route. Some hematite ready to go, that's good. Type ore is done. That means the iron ore is done. Forge medicine iron spike. Excellent. So we got that started. Start job. Smith. So it's just right. Oh, uh, let's create another trap components. Started digging? No, we. Oh, so as your people build furniture, it'll actually kill the designation to smooth. You'll have to go back there and hit smooth again. So that's what happened there. I didn't actually finish the smooth, and they just canceled smooth orders because they were installing something. So that's just something strange that happens. I don't know why it does that, um, but it I'm trying to think about the best way to build this using the least amount of stone. That's what I'm kind of looking at. And I'm not sure. Oh yeah, the bars blocks here. I need to change. I already changed that. So get rid of the get rid of the metal. And when you go in and, and change something on the custom, you have to come back over and get rid of the bins again. It'll, it'll put bins back in there as soon as you change something. It's not really a 
bug for it doing that. It's because it doesn't know what you changed. So when you get done editing a custom, all it does is it looks what's in there and it always just accounts for what you've put in there. Um, so that's, that's why it works that way. So it's actually kind of working as intended um, that you have to go check it again if you've messed with those custom settings. So it's, it's, that's just how it works. You're, you're going to like that if you're not using quantum stockpiles. It's built for the people who aren't using quantum stockpiles, essentially. Start using some logs. Built some spikes. They still haven't dug that out yet. Yeah, from what it's doing. Making a throne, a chest. Let's go ahead and some of these have been done. So we can go ahead and start. So I think I think I have enough to make these traps. Right, upright weapon spike trap. Oh, it's a weapon slash spike. So you can use the medicine spikes, but I think you could actually install things like swords and spears in this as well. I'm going to use the medicine spikes, but... So I've got, I've got 10 medicine spikes. And you can actually put multiple in each one. That's right. So I can have more or less viciousness per square. Um, I'm going to do just... I think I'll do like three spikes per per square. Um, I'm kind of balancing off the fact that I'm going to put a whole bunch of them. If I'm only going to do a couple of squares, then it's good to have... Um, a whole bunch in one, like 10, because you're going after it. But the fact that I'm going to be doing like a whole hallway of them going all the time, I don't want it to be, um, I don't want to use that much metal for it. I'm still going to use a lot of metal for it if I do these spikes all the way down. That's just how it's going to be. Oh, and I also need to make a pressure plate. I said I'm going to put it right there. Uh, we need yeah, pressure plate. Uh, let's see. We want sets. Citizen. Citizen's trigger. All right. Chain, reptile. I want everyone to trigger this. Everything to trigger it. Minecarts, magma, water, I don't care about that stuff. Trick. Alright, so now anytime any dwarf steps across it, it's good to go. Now I'm going to have to be a little bit careful here because I'm kind of going to want to do it one at a time once I get this started because I don't want them, my own dwarves walking across this. So I'm actually going to have to want them to come get this stone first, too. I don't know. Okay, what's, what's fighting? Agitated. Where are you? There they are. So whatever reason, uh, creatures that come and fight you will, like, make all of your animals run off as well. Uh, so then your your people have to come and put them back. So you can see there's like one duck left and everybody else has ran off somewhere. So then your people have to go and find the animals and put them back in. So that's another good reason that you want to put walls around your pen. Have it uh, protected. Ducks flying.
finish with them. Yep. They, yeah. Maybe I just have those guys off duty. Everything. I just activate them when I need them to go kill something right now. And eventually I'm going to replace them with Arx Dwarfs. Someday. Uh, I'm going to check real quick, make sure we're still recording. Yep, we're recording. Okay. I've got that going. I don't know why my guys aren't digging. Alright, so these are done. we got one rock left to go. Just make it tough to get to. Nah, I don't want to kill him. Wait till that's gone before I link him up. So you can see that, you know, the dwarves will hit it, and a little while later it'll pop back up. So if you see that, it's it's out right now. If a dwarf runs across it, it'll pop up. I can actually create more than one, too. Uh, it might be a good idea. So, like, in and out of this seems pretty. So I'm going to put another one right there. Teachers and citizens. And then... Out somewhere else might be. I pretty much want these things to be triggering near constantly once it's going. Is that as soon as soon as it resets, it triggers again. And so that these things will just be going up and down, up and down um, all day long. Is the goal. Because right now, I think if you just step on the trap... So I can't remember. But let's go ahead and let's play. And then let's see if we can watch it after they do. And actually, since I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead just to come out here. That's one stone. All right. Set that up. Let's see if we get any visuals on it. I don't see any visuals. Trigger. Okay, there we go. Up, directed up. So you can see that they're just going in and out and spiking people as they go. And so I'm also going to want to plate this, this, and then I'm also going to come to this one. Oh, oh. Stop, stop, That one is fine. That one. Time. All right. Should be a double link. And it should be a oh here. Trolling buildings. No. Um they might have to go back to the There we go. Now it's double link. They just they do the trap first or the spikes first and they come down to the plate. Alright, so now they're all linked to the first one. 
So now it should be triggering quite regularly. All right. Now we're going to want to do the same thing. So it, it takes some time and effort doing this, obviously. But this is sets up kind of a, your civilians are defending yourself. Uh, outsiders. So once I have this going, this whole hallway is going to be just spiking. And you'll see what happens when, when goblins come. It's going to be pretty fun. All right, so traps. Let's see if we have enough. Just one minute spike. It's got three. Start like. There we go. And again, to actually kick this whole thing off, I need to actually pull this lever, raise the drawbridge, and then this is the way into my fortress, so then they'll be walking through this. Alright. How are we doing? Blocks. And blocks. Two, three, six, seven. All right, let's go find some more hematite. I don't know where I hit it. I don't see any there. Still not digging. Wait, what are my diggers up to? Sleep, making rock mechanisms, storing them in a vehicle. Okay. Uh, you guys. Alright, so we got some hematite in through here, through this layer. I don't really want to mess with those guys. But exploratory mine. We'll have that right there. Top side of this. I don't really want to do the bottom side because it probably links over. I could do the top side and come over. Now the other thing I could do is go ahead and just build another set of guys. That'll get some more too, because I know there's a through here. Just digging out. Expansive caverns. Let me pull. Which doesn't need this out, but. Close off this cavern I just hit. Essentially. And from there, I think I want to just stop it. If I do this, essentially it's going to make it so that I can mine stuff out without it messing up that barn owl it's fine all right let's go down get on i'm still there we go we got some we got some flux which Good. Oh, cluster. All right. So right there. Not too bad. Let's see where did you? Sad. All right. 
So I'm stopping that because I want to not give myself as much to deal with for a headache. Oh, I've breached it here. So in order to close this off, I think what I'm going to do is build four right... Made of gold. Construct a there. And then once I do the floor, I could I don't I might be able to, to trigger that wall from here, but I don't know. So I'm gonna just go ahead and put a floor here and a wall here, then get rid of the floor. Uh the caravan. Oh, and I'll also show you up how to set up hotkeys. So I'm going to hit H, and these are all the, the different places. You start off with F1 assigned to your, your starting location. So if you ever hit F1, you'll recenter there. I clear it because I actually use F1 to start my recording and F2 to stop my recording. So my first one I'm going to put um, is just doing it at this location here. So I click this button, this button, press this button. So I'm just recentering to where my screen is right now. And oh, the hotkey's F3. Let me get that one out. This F3 would be right here. And so I'm just going to call this Trade Depot. And so now, if I ever hit F3, I'll come immediately back to my Trade Depot. And if you set up hotkeys like this, it allows you to go around your fortress a lot quicker than having to scroll. Um, so if I had set this up, for instance, when I was way down here looking at uh, this this screen here, I could now hit just hit F3, and I'm back to my Trade Depot. You just kind of have to remember or hit H to bring up and, and, and see what you have 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 uh, set up to go back to it. But the reason I came up to the Trade Depot is I want to move some goods in here. Uh, I think we've got some gems. No, we have like no gems. We have a single cut citrine. All right. Eight. What do we got? We got lots of rough gems. Get on that. Let's see. What do we got for barrels? Prepared food barrels. We'll, we'll sell. We'll give them some prepared food. Nathan's of high value. Prepared food barrel. Prepared food barrel. Prepared. All right. So we bring those over. That'll give us some some trading power. Uh, I traded four. I don't want to trade it back out again. There. I want that going. What else could be valuable? I don't. I think that's about it. Right. Let's call that good. No, oh, and uh, broker requested. Just six items. That's okay. Oh, and I this. What was I going to do here? Oh yeah, trap component. All right. Uh, where were trap components? They were under I think weapons. I think it's weapons slash trap component. And I could just do all weapons and trap components right. Now. It's fine. I haven't started on armor, but I could just do everything. Which is fine. Make sure you don't select a minecart that's already at another route. Uh, if you do that, they'll take it off the other route, and that route won't have a minecart, and it will be dumping stuff over for you. Just make sure that. I select this one. Alright, all the weapons and traps. 
And then we can go back up to our generic stockpile here, and we can get rid of weapons. Oh, let me get rid of furniture. I already got rid of finished goods. How we doing? All right, we've moved all the stuff. Oh, we got a diplomacy. All right, what do I want from you? I don't know. Probably nothing. So whatever you bring is good. Nothing specific. I need. Um, if you're looking for something specific, that's when you're going to want to talk to them about it. Uh, but you always have to pay more. It's usually double price for anything specific that you want. Um, so I'll, I only ask for things that I definitely want because I'm going to have to pay more for it. All right, so trade in and we'll mark all. So we've got about 5,000 value. Let's see what we can get. Black bronze bars. That sounds pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to make out of it. it sounds cool. <sighs> what do we got? A snail and a crow. Nope, I need a rabbit. I need I need dogs. You need to bring me some dogs. Uh, do I want some milk here? Yeah, let's go ahead and get that. And let's see what other kind of food we got. Uh, do, 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 do. I like to look for gypsum powder too. That's sometimes tough to get. Um, so if I see gypsum powder, I'll, I'll often take that off the start. Let's take your meat. I'm getting a source of fish. So I don't need fish. Grab some plants. How we do? We'll grab some leaves and fruit. And we'll grab some cheeses. That's pretty good. Trade it off. Again, I'm okay trading away more uh, value than I'm getting. Uh, mostly because I'm trying to get people to want to come here. That's why I'm doing it that way. All right. Lots of iron ore. It's great. And I can also do I found items. I don't really care about it. All right. That's for this to get suspended in. Damp stone located. Need some damp stone. Oh. That's fine. Alright, so what I'm going to do to get through this cavern layer is I'm going to close it off. I'm going to put the floor here, put a wall here, get rid of the floor, put it a wall. And that closes this cavern off so it can't actually get into my fortress. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a pillar. I could dig all the way through this cavern layer, which is, happens to be, I got right on the edge of the pillars. It is. I almost completely missed this cavern layer by one square, one square lower, and I would have not even known that this cavern layer was here. And that's sometimes what can happen. So I'm just going to dig stairs right from here down past this cavern layer. And sometimes it's, until you want to get into a cavern layer for some reason, it's good to kind of close it back off and bypass it, because uh, it's just another way of defenses that you're going to have to worry about um, if you don't do it that way. All right, come on. No, I don't. 
trade already. They're already done trading. Oh, ducks were born. I did not keep up with the ducks. <laughs> Look at all those ducks. So, um, I do have the butcher set up already. I think we're going to have some duck meat. That's, that's all there is to it. I already have them. I think I already have them all assigned to the pasture. I think they automatically, when they're born, they get assigned. Oh, no. Let's get all these ducklings assigned. Oh, and we got a yak bull. I think I'm just gonna kill that yak bull. So many ducklings. So this is what happened when eggs hatch. I got a yak bull to kill. Pet livestock. Yak bull. Sure you. And then we've got so many ducklings of both boys and girls that I think I'm just going to eat all of my current ducks. I get behind for some... Sometimes it is really tough finding exactly where you need to click on... Nope. This one, I, is there a way to slaughter it right on? Alright, I guess we're just keeping you. You are the duck that will be kept. What do we got nearby? Great owls. I don't know if I want to toss a roof over these ducks or not. I might want to. Now, once I slaughter all these ducks, it's going to be a little while until I get eggs again. Most likely, if I were to guess, yeah, I've got 111 eggs. It'll be all right. Sure, no jobs are suspended. suspended. And where are my stocks? I won't. Where would iron trap components? Maybe it's under trap components. Weapons. Weapons. No. Oh, yeah, there is trap component. So I've got ten medicine iron spikes. But a bunch of them, I believe, are installed. Yeah, because it doesn't have the melt. So I only got one medicine iron spike that actually can be installed. And I got a medicine copper spike. All right. Duck child is fighting. The ducks like that I'm uh, killing them off. Two legged rhino lizard. That was fun. Get some nice duck meat. Pick that up. Tasty. Uh, I don't need my guys to solely dig it anymore. Back and start doing more stuff. Like building this floor for me. Become a fisher dwarf. That's fine. Uh, let's 
get a temple started. Taking that forever. Um, we'll put the temple. Put the temple on the same level. You can go see their loved ones and then go pray. They see their loved ones. Or the other way around. No. Since they're leaving, they're slaughtered. Winter is upon you. That's fine. I got plenty of drinks and food. <laughs> Alright. How are we doing on time? Okay. Probably play for about another hour. Again, I, I really built this because I wanted to do a tutorial on advanced combat, but I, I know some of you kind of like watching gameplay. As, as well as just knowing how I how I do everything I, I do for building there. So a little bit of both is giving you the ability to watch me do it as well as eventually I'm going to do the tutorial too so you'll get to see it in action. I might even, if I've got enough of it built, I might uh, stop one of these at some point um, early so I could just start up the other tutorial with like a big invasion wave. If I see that enough is built and I've got enough invasion wave in, then it'd be good to do the tutorial. I will probably do that. But for the little invasion waves, I'm just going to be doing it for you guys right here. Now, why would I not be making... Oh, you know what I probably did is I didn't put it on repeat. Yeah. Well, that's because I didn't know. That's why. Iron spike. Make a medicine iron spike. Yeah, how much more... How much of these do I need? I want you to keep making it. Um, I want like less than say it's less than twenty two of these. Make some more. There we go. That'll keep them that'll keep them working. Ideally I want a nice hallway for when the first goblin wave shows up so I can kind of show you what happens. There it is. Yak people slaughtered. Yes. Alright. I've got some unhappy people still. Why? You should be liking life. Why caught in the rain? What do you want? You want to be with family. Did, did I like kill your family off? Is that the problem? Cause trouble, argue, think abstractly. He probably won't say library built. Who else we got? Be with family, pray. Oh, we're building the temple, so that's good. Go back and get some people. Oh, oh you. Table. Oh, let me get uh, tables are good. Oh no, I'm gonna let them finish some of that out. For oh, make more rooms. Some furniture to make. I would guess. Cabinets. Closest. Some cabinets to put in. Probably have some more chests to put in. That's a lot of chests. 
have those set in set at? Great wooden chest. Empty boxes. All right, temple's done. Well, at least the start of a temple. All right, we want a meeting area. There, except, and we're gonna give it to a temple. And what do we got? One worshiper. One, five. Six. Actually, no. We're gonna just start there with no specific. Everyone. But it looks like there's two that have a lot of worshippers, so I'm going to do eight temples as well. So the reason I'm putting the space here is that it seems like room value gets degraded a little if they're overlapping, but I also want it to include the walls. That way when I get the smooth walls and engraved walls, it, it makes sure I add the value. Still attracted no migrants. Come on. Oh, masterpiece medicine iron spikes. That's what I'd like to see. All right, we're done those walls. All right, so the next layer up, I will start. Now, I need to, I probably want to close this off for now, because it's a way into my fortress that I don't need until this outer is secure. Right now, my dwarves could just walk down this ramp and get there. So until I fully secure this, which I considered just leaving that, but uh, it's going to take a lot more walls to just leave it. We'll see. All right, more medicine iron spikes are done. Much more. All right, got two more temples. Oh, I did make this temple a little bit bigger too. That's okay. Why do I got? What are you doing, ducks? I don't know. Ducks be crazy. All right, we're gonna give this one to. I saw, yeah, one with five. And this area here, and this one's gonna go with. That was the five. I thought I saw one with six. All right, there we go. Got some prayer starting up. That should help people a little bit more with staying happy. And we got lots of spikes getting put together. And we got spikes constantly going in and out. Alright, let's 
see without this Ford. Still not. I should probably stop doing other stuff until they get this done. Alright. Still got three unhappy, but we're working on it. We're working on it. Let's see. Who else is unhappy? Why are you unhappy, buddy? You need... Ray, craft. I want to craft an item. What about that stopping you? I didn't make you fish. Go craft an item, buddy. Be, be one with the crafting world. Uh, but what I could do is just tell you to stop fishing. Oh, let's actually see if this works. We're going to come up here. Pause the zone. Make sure that fishing stops. Now, it, theoretically, they should. I mean, they'll they'll get done this one fishing thing, but then they shouldn't fish anymore. I don't think. Like they won't come back to it. But I just wanted to double check. All right. Because we, we put on the fact, in the fishing tutorial, I made this the only fishing zone on the map, and I made it so that they have to fish in fishing zones, and then I paused that fishing, so it should not allow them to come back. They're preparing a raw fish, storing, so it looks like it works. Let me just leave that off for a little bit and see if they go entertain themselves. For whatever reason, fisher dwarfs, they really love fishing. Um... So once you have them selected for it, they you got to kind of watch them sometimes because they'll just go overboard and just fish constantly. Lots of dwarves and spikes. Petitions. Eradicated monsters. Nah, nah. I don't need you. So when you... When people are offering to join your fortress for something like that, they're going to be kind of this temporary visitor that you can't do anything with for quite a while. But if they stay with your fortress long enough, and I think it's something like two or three years, they'll eventually petition you to become a permanent resident, in which case you can start giving them jobs besides what they came for. So it's another way to get more population if you're not getting it through other means. Uh, so for instance, when you build a tavern and start entertaining with a tavern, you make it a good high quality tavern, you're gonna get a whole bunch of people that come looking to entertain. And so that's that's actually a, my favorite source because you're getting people that aren't, the eradicated monsters people sometimes go out there and start fights all over the place and just cause trouble. So I don't always accept them, but usually the entertainers, if I'm looking for another population source, I'll go ahead and grab them up and let them stay and entertain for a while and then eventually add them to my ranks and then give them some real jobs. Now the downside is they're not dwarves, or often not dwarves. Uh, a lot of humans like doing that, and elves, and you know, have to decide if you want that. I don't remember if it tells you the race. I think it just tells you a guy's person's name, and it's not always clear what race they are by the name. Seeds are getting low. Something's not set up right with the kitchen. Cook anything that we could make into drinks. We just want it to go straight to drinks. That way we get the seeds back, especially. Oh, and then we don't want to cook our... Uh, and we do want to make all of that. Uh, the rock nuts, we could go ahead and... I don't care about that. All right. Wave of spikes is getting close. Still not done with that floor. Lots of stored items. It's not suspended. All right. I want to 
to do next. Okay, so since that's taken forever, I think I'm going to have to actually be doing these next. And I really want them to get rid of the rest of the stone, too. Did I, did I set up a corpse place yet? Yeah, I did. It's like across the river, isn't it? So another thing you want to set up early in your fort is just a place for them to drop refuse and bodies. So you can see that I've got a place down here across the river. You don't want it near your fort because it, people don't like looking at it. So they just go over there and drop it and then come back. Um, eventually I'm just going to be dropping that stuff in magma once I get to it. Oh, do I still have those dwarves? And start doing stuff again. Oh, um, I have temples set up. So one thing you want to put in your temples is chests. Uh, because there are so many ducks. Uh, chests will store instruments. And so when you get instruments, then they can put them in here and they can play instruments. And do a little worship music and stuff. Alright. How many ducks do I have? I have just ducks. Why is that duck not, why are these ducks not stored? Why are they following this duck around? I should just kill this duck. All these ducklings are following me. It's probably the one that I can't kill. It's a problem. Yeah, I can. I wonder if any of my ducks have any kills. Probably not. Just got ducks wandering my fortress, praying to my temples. It's cool. It's cool. Alright, let's see how far down this is going. Alright, what do we got? Another caravan. Oh yeah, that's dwarven. Some more cut gems. Excellent. Got a lot of value of cut gems. And let's see if we can get some more paired meals out there. Paired food. That's about it. Four more items. All right. All right, Mountain Home, what do you got for me? So we've got a lot of stuff. I don't know that we need too much from you. Let's go ahead and grab... If you bring me some steel bars. Uh, since you are dwarves. I can go for steel bars. Um, oh, actually. Maybe you can bring me some seeds. Not seeing seeds. Seeds. Yeah, go ahead and grab I me. Mean, just in case. I actually grab that one too. Just in case I run out. That should be good. Seeds and steel. That's what I want from you. Plus whatever else you bring. Alright, they're setting up. <sighs> Fine. Come on back over here. Trade the depot. Thank you. Alright. I've already got 3,000. Alright, let's grab this chalk. 
Like that, alright. Do I got any dogs? Cavey boar, water buffalo, billy goat, no. I should have checked to see if they can have they can bring me some dogs. Elves are usually the best for animals. Gypsum plaster. Gypsum plaster. There we go. That can set up my uh hospital. That's good. How we do on our value? Four hundred. Grab the cheese. They didn't bring a lot of food. Grab these berries. Uh, the reason I like grabbing food is just um, it gives more variety to the diet. I'll just grab whatever they, they happen to bring. And then it, it just, the dwarves are a little bit happier with that. We'll grab your cloth. Yeah, it looks good. Thank you. And we don't want Alright, how we doing on the traps? Alright, the traps are all done. Alright, so we gotta start with trap number four. Ink plate number four. Let's wait till we get the three mechanisms and then we get starter number five. That should be it. I can all right. Start at number five. Stray duck slaughter. Another calf. Excellent. He's got one mechanism. Two, and I think that's three. Somebody cancel it? Yeah, have canceled. Six. Six. Five. And unfortunately, this just this just takes a while. Get this all done. But I will have my hallway of death when I'm done with it. My first hallway of death. It's going to be more. If I get more pop, if I get up to like the the 30 pop range, I'll, I'll get my squad of uh, Mark's Dwarves going. Hopefully that extra value that I'm trading out will eventually start triggering some immigrants.
the cell. Now you can get this done with just one pressure plate. Uh, the reason that I'm using three pressure plates is just to make sure that it's triggering time. That's all. But you don't have to do it that way. You could do it with just one, save yourself some time. <clears throat> as long as it's a place that gets heavy traffic, it'll be fine. Okay, I don't know why that button wasn't. <laughs> that was weird. All right, so this one needs one more, and it's good to go. Then you can see they're retracting in and out here constantly, which is good. All right, some migrants have arrived. Starting to. Now this link plate is starting to not work. Why that button is problems. Okay. I wonder if it has to be like up. I just got people here. I don't think that's the reason. Unless there's a limit to how many things you get a link, but I don't think so, because I think I linked quite a more than 10. Obviously. Yeah, so like that one's not having a problem. They do have problems. Why? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, we'll go back and turn on the doors again. We've had some time, some stuff. Why would you not be working? I don't remember if there's a hotkey for it. Key bindings, fortress build in.
let's see a hotkey for it. And some things when you mouse over, I think it shows the hotkey. Remember where it shows it. Let's go see if we built this floor yet. There we go. Let's build the wall. It's just right there. Wolverine woman, let's fight it. Where are you, Wolverine? Play away from my ducks. one of these buffalo bulls. Agitated though. They were actually fighting. May have been they didn't like getting stunned by bees or something. I'm not sure. I don't have the fight. So I'm gonna kind of ignore it. Well, Zombie. The heck are you? That does not look guest. Got a zombie showing up. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with those. But I think I want my squad to come kill these. Three. I'm not liking that. I'm not liking that. Lots of logs left. I probably should chop down some more. See, part of the problem is I'm not training them all the time, so the little times that they do fight, it's not really great for them. I'm happy. Now I can link it. I don't know. I don't know why it's giving me trouble linking those. Alright. 
Oh, you know what might be the problem is that I, I ran out of... That's probably the issue is that I just... I don't have a lot of mechanisms built. That's the problem. Here I am. Yeah, so I got no mechanisms. So I just got to wait for batches of mechanisms is the problem. That's all. Okay, mystery solved. Link lever button doesn't give you any indication, but all you have to do is wait. Let me see if you used to not be able to just put a wall over a floor like this. Um, I'm going to see if in this version. That looks like it. So they kind of changed the way some things work before. Uh, the wall and the floor would kind of cancel each other out. But it looks like now you can go ahead and just build it without having to worry about it. That's neat. And I want to dig down a little bit farther because I still haven't found magma. Which is something else I'm looking Farther. How are we doing on? We have no cave wheat seeds anymore. Okay. I think um, some of my dwarves are starting to get poked. What were you doing? Seeing this blood somewhere, so I think that what happened is some of my dwarves ran across that for no real reason. I don't see any reason for them to come up here, but I think more. Fortunately. Your dwarves going. Nineteen. Go ahead and build some more. Keep my dwarves happy. They're still Chest on the chests are done. Beds, doors. Okay, that's all done. Start on the next one. Got lots of iron. I got I don't need that yet. In anticipation of more showing up. Build them. Probably eventually gonna have to start working on my mayor's office too. If he's not complaining about it already, he probably will soon. Let's see. I complain. Basically, once it becomes a mayor instead of a just an expedition leader, he'll demand a better room. And so I'll make a little suite for the mayor. Give him a room, give him a little dining room, give him a little office. And Same thing for your uh, militia commander will require some stuff, your dungeon master, eventually your baron, and any other nobles that you get. They just all require their own. And the, the requirements for it goes up as well over time. Just one of the things you got to deal with. All right, we smoothed that out. So let's start on smooth out there. See if we get some more. Uh, how much?
much. Keith is going to go up. Be able to be able to go through here. But we're gonna have to make a burrow. Alright, so let's start a burrow. Add a new So a burrow is gonna limit where the dwarves can go to. For the most part I don't really want to limit them other than I don't want them going outside. I basically don't want them going across the spikes. I want them doing everything else. Life continues. This time period. out if they want. Oh, it's probably because it's not dug out yet. I didn't think that used to be the case for burrows. I thought you should you used to be able to do multiple Z levels by clicking and dragging through multiple. Guess not. It's not right now. Come here. We want to be able to see our dead. We want to. Uh, definitely want to. Yeah, I guess we want to be able to collect this. And then I think that's it. Alright. Except all that. This is Right, and then we'll sign everyone. And let's pause. We want it want it to be active right now. And we also want pull this lever at a high priority. Now, 
Hold on. Oh, yeah. Is there outside to come inside? All right, now pull them. Raise. All right. Don't know their dwarves are outside. I don't know where this thief is. Let's find out if he crossed that and gets spiked. All right. Saw him. But yes, we don't see him right now. It's probably because we don't have the dogs or anything like that. So hopefully wherever he is... He's going to come in or out through here. Hopefully these spikes going up and down will catch him. Won't necessarily. Maybe. Furnace operator. Excellent. What's a smelting for that guy? Alright. Thieves sometimes take a while to get in and out. I don't know that I caught it in time. Thief might have been quicker than my horse hopping inside and pulling. So many ducks. Oh, and another batch is probably going to get born because of this. I don't know that I can let this go. Alright, hold on. I need to go. Like, I actually might want to just get rid of the, the, the S boxes for a while. And then burrow. Pause that burrow. Yeah, let's go ahead and get lots of eggs, lots of nest boxes. Now what you can do is build your nest boxes in such a way that you can just pull a lever and stop access to them. So for instance, uh, this goes all the way up to here. So if I were to build little rooms with the nest boxes, uh, with um, I just pull a lever and close the nest box and then the Ducks can't have access to it. I might do that later. Right now I'm just going to dis disassemble the nest boxes. That'll also stop it. Alright, how are we doing on mechanisms? Mechanisms 12. Alright, so I can... And it actually takes um, six, or I guess two mechanisms per this. So 12 mechanisms are actually only going to be able to do two traps for me. Just a lot of mechanisms get used to together. Another reason why you might want to try to find a way to do it with just one plate.
All right. I think I'm about done for the night, though. We'll continue that. Uh, after the medicine spikes, what are we at? 19 pop. I'm going to get to 30 for the Mark's Dwarf. I'm probably going to start doing some Mark's Dwarf pre prepping for the Mark's Dwarves getting here. So get some crossbows done. Uh, we probably have some leather now that we've killed some, at least a couple of animals that provide leather. We might be able to get the, the, the quivers going. I might go ahead and smelt some of that tetrahedrite, make some copper armor sets for them, get the crossbows going, get some bolts going. You're going to want to make iron bolts for that. Lots of iron on this map, though, so that's fine. And then probably start prepping the next tunnel for the crossbow doors. And I'll show you what that what that'll look like tomorrow. I think we'll, well that'll be the next segment. Is prepping where the crossbow dwarves are gonna stand and shoot the enemies as part of the trap hall. Alright, uh so we did we did finish oh let me just go check this real quick. They did make this wall, right? So yes, they made that wall right over the stairs, the floor. So that's something new in this in this release. You didn't used to be able to put a wall right over a floor like that. Now it seems like it's perfect. So that's nice. A quality of life update. All right. Well, good night, everybody. We'll see you next time for more spikes and more uh, defenses. Have a good night.